Okay. So the frequency of a spring, I'm going to call it FB for F bounce, equals 1 over 2 pi square root of K over M. I'm going to rewrite this a little messy here. Square root of K over M. And the frequency of a pendulum, I'll call it FP, equals 1 over 2 pi times the square root of G over L. Okay, and in the problem it's given that F of P equals 1 half F of bounce. So let's rewrite this here. We have 1 over 2 pi square root of g over l equals 1 over 4 pi square root of k over m. Okay, we can get rid of the 2 pi over here, get rid of the 1, four, one over 4 pi, right, 1 over 2, um, and we get that Square root of G over L equals one half square root of K over M or L equals four M G over K. All right. So we know that mg equals w, so our weight given up here equals 1 newton. So we have 4 times 1 over k, which is 1.5. We get 2.67 meters. But this is the length of the stretch spring due to this 1 newton force. Okay, so if we... We know that F equals KX, so we want to figure out what X is from this 1 Newton um, shift. So we know the force is 1, so 1 equals 1 1.5 times X. So this means that X equals 0 0.67 meters. So it's stretched an extra 0.67 meters, which means that the unstretched length L equals 2.67 minus 0.67 equals meters.